So our next step will be to install Path Auto and set it up to automatically generate URLs for our reviews. Here's the information that you need in order to install Path Auto. I'm going to go ahead and do it through Drush. I'll do Drush DL Path Auto. And then we're going to do Drush EN Path Auto. It's just a single module, so it's pretty straightforward. Type Y. So now let's just verify that our module is enabled. I'm going to go to the modules listings page and I'm going to do a quick search for Path Auto. Okay, here it is and it's checked. From here, we can also go to the configuration page. So by default, Path Auto sets it up to create a path for every piece of content that begins with content slash node title. Now, I like to remove this to set it just to node title because what that will do is set it up to use the title of the content and if by any chance the title is identical to one of the other titles that's been used on the site, a number will get added to the end of the URL. So the idea behind removing this folder from the beginning of the URL is that some people have found that having folders at the beginning of URLs gives an indicator to search engines that content is deeper inside of the site and maybe not as important or widely accessible on the site. And so by removing those folders, you may give it a little bit of a boost in terms of search engine optimization. In some cases, however, it makes sense to have that subfolder because it can be used to navigate up a hierarchy. So for example, if for our review paths, we type review, slash, and then we use the node title for that. I'm going to copy it from the default path here and paste it in. This allows users to remove the title from the URL and go to a page called review. And that page could serve as an aggregator for all of the reviews. We could have a view there that lists all of the reviews, for example. And so even though we might get an SEO hit, although that's arguable, we'll get a more sane URL pattern that's reliable for users. This will also give us the opportunity to use review slash as the path pattern that we're going to use to disable the site-wide context for review pages. Now another option here would be to go review dash, but again the slash makes it clear that we're part of a hierarchy and that the user can move up the hierarchy to go to additional pages. 